do you know people that had a problem, whether it be emotional health or otherwise, and they're just like, so I just did this and went away. I just did this meditation for a month, for two weeks, went away. I just did the retreat and, and I'm all better. I just, I just found the right medication. First one I tried, anxiety, depression, gone. I just did the mushrooms, right? My fear of death, gone. I just did the ayahuasca trip. Everything's fine. Everything's amazing now. I'm so happy. It gives us the impression that our problems, our challenges that are unique to you, nobody has your problems. They're close. Sure. I have depression. They have depression. It's the same. No, it's not. You're, you're very unique in what's led to it. What caused it? What will help you? What tool will be the best for you? How you relate to yourself? How you relate to the world? Oh my gosh, what a plane. Is that a plane or a drone? Huh. I never see them flying that way. That's, uh, they're going south. Cool. So it gives us the impression that Okay, if it's easy for somebody else, it's got to be easy for me. And even psychologists or psych, uh, psychotherapists on YouTube give me the impression sometimes that you just need that, 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 and you're good. Here, take this tool with you, and there you go. The truth is that your problems, my problems, our challenges, the things we wrestle with on a daily, weekly, monthly basis throughout our entire life are harder to solve than we think. Problems aren't as easy to solve. Cognitive behavioral therapy never worked for me. It never did. I tried it so many times because that was the bread and butter. It's the gold standard of anxiety, depression, right? You change the thought, you change the feeling, you change the behavior. You change the behavior, that changes the feeling. Good feelings create new thoughts. You do through the worksheets, you talk through it, you do all this kind of stuff. I did hypnosis with it. I did all of this stuff. Didn't do anything. And people think that, and, and it's probably maybe with you too. It's like, you can't just change a thought, replace a sad thought with a more realistic one, with a happy one, that one, one that's more true. It works for some people, but some, it's not that simple. It's not that simple to, uh, to, you know, get better at least with depression or, or relieve anxiety by just replacing thoughts. And I think that's something that rather than it providing a sense of hopelessness, I hope this does the opposite because if you're starting to solve a problem, whatever it is, a mental health challenge, a problem with your parents, a problem with your siblings, a problem at work, like whatever it is, it's better to say, oh, this is, rather than say it's an easy fix, like, oh man, I just created some mud pies in my undies. That's easy. Okay. Oh, I just need to sweep the floor. It's dirty. Done. Oh, my bed's not made. I'll make it simple you have the tool right there it's your hands with a with a wipe okay so that's cool but when you're solving and going into unknown territory almost with it with an issue it's better to say like i don't know if it's going to be easy i don't know if it's going to be hard i really have to be with the sense of unknown and uncertainty I'm going to be with that right now, but all I can control and all I can think about and all I can see forward is I'm going to do my best with this thing I'm going to give it my all with this thing. I'm going to do what needs to be done. I'm not going to say it's easy. It's not going to be hard. I'm not going to look to that person, you know, who just friggin' uh, drank toad venom and got better. Like, I can't look at that person. And it was frustrating for me for so many years to see the success of people who just needed to, you know, uh, do uh, a bunch of meditations. They found the ultimate binaural beats, you know, <laughs> like all of this stuff. I'm like, were you really suffering that much? Like, did you really, you couldn't get out of bed, you're saying. You dealt with that severe depression. And then what? And then you had six kiwis. Okay. One B vitamin. Yeah. Okay. What else? Okay. And then you ate uh, six tadpoles. Cool. Then what? And then you were good. Damn. To have expectations of comparison is really, really tough in the mental health space and maybe what you're feeling, all right? So go easy. Don't think that it's going to be easy, but don't think it's going to be impossible. Don't think it's going to be impossible. Where's that coming from? Don't think it's going to be impossible. Don't. It's not. It's not. I think the fact that it is difficult means that it's 
it's more realistic to to uncover and to overcome and to work through. Uh, if you're watching YouTube on your TV, sometimes I do. I have a thing, and then um, a, an ad comes up, right? And TVs, you can't see it. An ad comes up, and I'm in the kitchen, which is like right beside it, but I'm too lazy to go get the remote and turn off the ad. So I'm like, all right, it better be like a 20 second one. This one was like 30, 40 minutes, and it was by this guy, and his company is Mind Valley, okay? Mind Valley. And he was selling this program called Quantum Jumping. And he said, what it is, is you exist in the multiverse and there's multiple versions of you and you go into a specific meditation that I'll sell you for like 800 bucks and you get to connect with these different versions of you. There's a billionaire in that multiverse. There's one who knows how to play piano perfectly in that one. And there's one that's in love in that one. And you connect with these different versions and in two weeks, you're going to be able to play the piano. I kid you not, this is what the ad was. And it was a person saying, I can play piano perfectly now. And there's one, yeah, I'm in love now. And there's one, yeah, I've manifested the money. For me, this will work for maybe 2% of people. And then they'll have this anecdotal evidence and all of that. Great. And there'll be the testimonials. Uh, for the vast majority, you know, 98%, 99%, this won't work for people. And it won't solve their problem. And then they're going to think that there's something wrong with them. And if you try the easy fixes, you're going to think that there's something wrong with you because it didn't work. No, the truth is, it's not your fault. It's not because you're lazy. It's not because your brain didn't accept it right. It's not because you weren't doing it right. It's because it was a shitty program. It's not evidence-based. Um, and it takes time. It really takes time. Give yourself time. And give yourself the honesty of, okay, this, this, is, this might be tough, but I'm by God, I'm going to do my best, man. I'm going to do my best. So keep doing your best. It's far from over. It is far from over. I know this was a short episode because it's Sunday night and I did this last minute. And uh, I appreciate all your ears. I appreciate all of you listeners, all those who watch, all those who send me emails, all those on Patreon. It means a lot. And I can't wait to start this program. It'll most likely launch in September, uh, eight weeks with me. Um, and then it, it's going to be so sweet. It's going to be awesome. I can't wait. And I'm going to do it like every eight weeks. There's going to be a new bunch of people who are going to join. And it won't be a scam. We're not going to be doing quantum fucking jumping. This is going to be real stuff. Uh, because you know my story. I've been in the depths, man. And you still don't know where I am on my journey, don't you? Mm -mm. Times are tough sometimes, man. It was tough a few weeks back. You know, and we go through these things, each of us, each at our own pace, uh, with our own tools to occupy our minds even sometimes, not even to solve anything. It's funny because sometimes if you think there's something to solve, there it's actually not solvable or you've made up the problem in your mind too. And all you have to do is sit with it. There's a whole bunch of things I could talk about, but I got to get to bed. I got to get to bed. And I got some dessert. Uh, a little bit of dark chocolate. Even though it gives me a headache, I just want one square. Just one square. Just one square. You know what I'm talking about, man. You know the pain is going to be there. But in the moment, mwah. All right. Love you all, and I'll talk to you soon. Uh, comment something. I'll say hi. Bye-bye.